Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a monthly reading session for you Capricorn. I hope you're well, I hope you're fine, I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. This reading is for you. What can I get for Capricorn please? What is the love intuitive message and general situation message for the sign of Capricorn for the full month of Jan 2021? Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. And um, if you are a guest viewer, and if you haven't clicked the subscribe button in the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Go to the description box below. Connect with me on my Instagram account. Check out my online store. The setting manifestation candles, they are already available. It's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading and free manifestation reading for me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you, okay? So this is you. This is a full month of January 2021 reading for you, Capricorn. In today's reading, we will be looking at love, career, and finances, and general situationship, okay? So let's start your reading. You have the strength card in upright position sitting in your love energy. You could be dealing with a Leo, a younger person. I'm really getting a vibe that you should be careful of um, a comeback, a reconnection from the past. I'm seeing January 8th onwards, okay? January 8th onwards, there's someone in the past who will try to sweep your feet, will try to really get your attention. Um, I see a lot of desire to get you into bed. It's not good. Um, I'm really getting two-faced. Look at that. Two-faced. They look very nice. They, they look very... When they want something, they're so nice, okay? The minute they get that... They, the minute they get what they want, they disappear. For some of you, this is like a friends with benefit, you know? They sleep over because look at this guy. After they sleep with you, the next day, shirtless, they're out. So be careful of that energy. This is someone in the past. This is someone in the past who, they want intimacy and desire. They don't mean to stay. You know, be very smart. You are a queen of pentacles, okay? Be smart, Capricorn, because you're a queen of pentacles. If you're a queen, you shouldn't be, I don't know, I feel like begging for intimacy or begging for attention. This person is a repeat offender. Two of ones in reverse. They will swoon. They will make you feel good. Look at you. You're a queen. You will feel swoon or persuaded. You know, when a, when a person wants something from you, they will shower you with sweet talk, nice, good conversation, and then they'll get you into bed and they will disappear. So be careful of that. It seems to be, you'll enjoy because I really feel like there's a lot of desire coming from you. But don't expect too much. You could be a Capricorn who's, you know, who's used to a friends with benefit thing. So make sure that you don't fall in love. Make sure that you don't get attached because two of ones, the child, this is too fast, too furious. You meet them, you kiss and hug, and then you sleep. And then the next day they're gone. The spark is gone. It's like a three days affair. It's someone in the past, January 8 onwards. Okay. Don't fall for this. I mean, some people could live with just a friends of benefits thing because they can control their feelings not falling in love. But for those who's weak and expecting further, they won't stay. Two of ones. They don't plan to stay. This is their this is their style, you know? Sleepover, kiss makeup, the next thing they're gone, they move on with the next um um suspect or <laughs> the next victim. So don't fall for this. All right, Queen of Pen you are a queen, you know, you're a queen. You don't beg for love. You don't beg for sex or intimacy. You are a queen. You should be, you should be, you should be the center of attention, okay? Then the second reading Capricorn is relating to career, finances, um, something that you would like to acquire or starting a project. You've got five of wands. You want, you want to build something, three of wands. Look, and what I'm getting in here is if you would like to build a 
a project, a career, a business, um, something that you're focused to acquire, to build, maybe to apply a job. There's something, you have a lot of competition. First of all, Capricorn, you have a lot of competition. You need to be unique. Look at that. All right, look at that. You have a lot of competition. So if you're going to set up a business, make sure that your business is unique. Because you have an idea, you have a thing in you, a project to execute. Maybe you're doing it right. Maybe you're doing it right now. And you're kind of thinking, why it's not working? Why my business is not working? Why my job application is not getting a return call? Because you need to be unique. Maybe your resume needs to be updated. Maybe your talking selling point needs to be updated. Because look at the five of wands. You know, it, it, there's nothing unique in here. Look at that. They're all wearing white and orange. You know, if I'm a customer, I'm not going to buy. Because it's the same. So be unique. Be unique in whatever it is that you would like to offer or you would like to build in order for you to gain longevity. Three of Wands. Look at that. Ace of Swords. Research. Ace of Swords. Research. Find something that will get... get that will give you a groove, something of a unique um, idea. Justice card. Also, consult, consultancy, law, okay? You might be having a business, entrepreneurship. Uh, you need to consult with legality. You need to consult and be balanced with... I'm, I'm seeing colors, really. Could be an architect, something drawing, some something that, you know, the price... And the product should be balanced. And then also if your, I don't know, your, your business is booming, you need to apply for a permit. You know, you need to be, if you're building a project, a career, a business, you need to build the foundation. Properly, properly set up the papers, the business permits and so on and so forth. Because one day you'll get audited something like that. Be wise, ace of swords. Use, you have a lot of passion. Look at that, five of wands. You've got drive. Look, you've got passion. You've got desire. You've got energy to do it. You need to be unique when you do it so that it's, there's a longevity. There's a, it's, it's long term. It's not going to die. Like it's, it's a business that will stand the test of time because it's unique. There's no other company or, you know, um, your competitors doesn't offer what you offer. So be unique. Research. Um, consult with you know the legal or expert and then be balanced maybe your product is unique but it's pricey also there's something to do with paperwork if this is not a business it could be um, it could be something that you would like to acquire it could be something that you know application but be unique I'm getting be unique look at the papers make sure that what you write what you put in there, it's correct. Consult with the right people, the right subject matter expert, and then legality. You know, check the legality of whatever it is that you would like to do. Fine prints. Read fine prints, okay, before you sign off something. There's a Mercury retrograde at the end of this month. So careful on signing papers. Think very, very carefully. But the drive, your ambition Whatever it is, your ambition, your drive, your passion, it's strong. It's just needed a little bit of structure and handling, okay? And then the last reading is you've got here, this is a general situation ship. So this is kind of um, whatever I could pick up additionally for you. Two of swords, um, don't be blindsided, okay? Don't decide because someone is pressuring you, all right? Um, for some of you... You're being asked by your friends, oh, come on, come here, join us. And peer pressure, okay? I'm hearing that. So don't decide something if it's coming from a peer pressure, okay? And then Ace of Pentacles, money, money, money. There's money. There's a lot of money coming for you. And um, do not belittle small gain. Look at that. There is a tiny seed. There's something of an opportunity for you. It looks tiny, but it's going to grow. Okay, you put your heart into this. It could be a, it could be something crafty. It could be a small business, but it's going to grow. It's going to be big and it's something unstoppable. Okay, 
good money. Third week of Jan 2021. Um, what I'm feeling in here is that you will snob or you will belittle or you are not interested in the beginning because the gain, the interest or the value you get, it's tiny, but it's multiple. So even if if if, if the transaction, if the if the margin it's small, but you get a million, uh, a million or like a thousand order. It's equivalent to getting a lot of money. So don't belittle something small. It's imagine it's like a seed. It will grow exponentially. Okay. The third one is that you've got the judgment card in reverse. Um, premature. There is there's a friend. There there's a friend or a female friend who you and this person you haven't sp speak spoke for a while. I think you had an argument with this person sometime November and December. Um, for some of you, you've been dreaming of someone, somebody, of a female. It's time to talk. Like you, 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 you judge someone prematurely. It's time to take a chance or to, to, to review something. There's something heavy with friendship or relationship in here. It's not love. It, it is maybe it's just an acquaintance but they're like a decision maker but i see this like november december you've got someone who you had a misunderstanding and it's past new year already and you're kind of thinking of this person you're dreaming of this person because they've been thinking about you it's time to re really let go of the grudge empty you know you're carrying there's a carryover from 2020 to 2021 it is heavy empty that and because you'll meet again, this person, whoever it is, they have a significant, they have a role to play in your life. So it's better to make amends. They'll come around. I see them reaching out towards you. It's a friend, could be a colleague, but if it's some, if it's something related to work, it's you know it's business as usual. Um, you'll gradually move on from the grudge, from the bitter, from the pain, from the misunderstanding. I mean, it's it's better you have this person on your side, okay? Keep your, what's what do you call that? Keep your enemy closer, something like that. But they will play a good, they're important in your life. This is a, this is a good, valuable person. This is a good ally to be with, okay? So this is you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing, liking the channel. If you have connected in the reading today i would appreciate if i get a like a subscribe and i'll see you soon again guys and happy happy new year bye bye